To do soil sampling the easy and simple way, just a few tools that you need. You need a drill, battery powered drill that you can drill holes with. You need a 13 16 inch uh, chip auger bit with a carbide tip. Uh, this allows you to drill into these soils and not tear the bit up too much. If you'll notice on the bit, I have it marked, uh, I filed a mark on it to do to different depths. What I've done on this is when I get to a certain depth in the bucket, it'll be at the very top of this bulkhead fitting. So I'll know how deep I've drilled. And I've got it marked on the drill bit at 15, uh, 30, and 45 centimeters. So on the bucket, you need just a regular small bucket with a one inch bulkhead fitting. And what I've done on that is drill the hole for the bulkhead fitting and screwed a one inch nipple into the bottom and cut it flush. This allows you to push it against the ground and to protect the threads as you're drilling and to make the hole the right size. But those are the only tools that you actually need to, to do soil sampling. To see what it looks like when you're drilling, so you can see how much dirt is you're pulling up. Come on, then I'll show you. As you drill, you'll see the dirt will be flowing up. So that's, each time you drill, you get about that much dirt. I'll show one more time. You also notice you can see this mark here. I only go down to that mark for that first layer. And then for the next layer, you go down to the... That's what, you, what it looks like when you're drilling. Now when you get out on site, you usually use GPS to find your location. And what I do is I'll set a bucket in at that GPS location. I'll sample four meter squares around that bucket. Now it's a good idea, after you drill the hole, put a flag close to it so you can find that hole again. Let me demonstrate how we drill. We'll be drilling in three different layers. So in, in 0 to 15 centimeters, 15 to 30, and 30 to 45. That's the reason you need to find your holes again. You just set the bucket down. Tight to the ground as you can. So I'll drill just down to the top of that collar. Mark that hole, go to a new site. I like to take about nine samples around the bucket to give you a little bit of, to cover any variance you might see in the soils. After you've done your first layer, 0 to 15 centimeters, you'll go another round and drill that next layer down, your 15 to 30 centimeters. You go in the same holes that you drilled before. And just go hole after hole after hole, doing the same thing to get that next layer. Flag back in for for your next. Let's see about how much you get each each drill. Of 
So you see what you get. If you do all nine holes, you'll be getting about 500 grams. It only takes about 200 grams of material to send off to a lab, but this gives you some to save just in case you need it. But you'll do that also on the next layer. Same thing, same holes, just drill down to from uh, 30 to 45 centimeters.